The Pontiac Silverdome, Tampa Bay Bandits, Michigan Panthers in a big Central Division till last Monday night. Following the opening kickoff, the Panthers march down the field on the arm of that man, number 11, Bobby Abair, quarterback. Look now as Abair drops back, lofting one up for tight end Mike Cobb. The big guy runs under it for the touchdown catch, 7-0 Michigan. Same score, second quarter now, Michigan to stop. Rick Parkridge is back to punt. The rookie Gary Anderson back to receive the punt for Tampa Bay. He must hear some footsteps because the kick, well, it hits him in the face mask, and Kyle Borland makes the big fumble recovery for the Michigan Panthers. The Panthers are doing well now because they're turning these kind of plays into points on the other end. For example, after that fumble, there goes little Terry Miller on the big touchdown run. Panthers led at halftime in this game, 19 to nothing. Meanwhile, the uh, head coach of the Bandits, Steve Spurrier, exhorting his quarterback, Mike Kelly. Come on, guy. I know you can do better than that. Third quarter, though, the Bandits are stalled again. Zen and Anderson has to punt. Anthony Carter shows Mr. Anderson what to do with a punt return. The first punt return for a touchdown in USFL history. There goes Carter. Nobody going to catch him. 57 yards and a touchdown. Michigan romps over Tampa Bay in the Silverdome, 43-7. to 